Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Japan. Now, where we left off, we were in the process of getting the Eiffel Tower. I'm not going to uh, use Filippo to finish it because I want to use him to get my hands on <clears throat> to get my hands on the uh, Crystal Red and Tor, which we're going to be unlocking in three turns. Here, we're going to try to hard build the last few turns here of this. Uh, we'll just hold on to you, and I will be building another mine over here. Uh, you know, we've got a bunch of stuff happening over here, but, you know, none of this is super important. We'll just go to the next turn and roll on. Roll on. So you want to buy my horses, and you want to give me amenities for it. Yeah, that sounds actually kind of like a reasonable deal. I would actually like to get my hands on the gypsum as well. So, let's see. Yeah, that seems like a more reasonable deal. Okay. We are struggling a little bit with amenities. If I go in here, you can see we've got a few happy and content cities, but we could use a few more. All right, we stole some gold. Very nice. And uh, we just got industrialization, so we're going to want to be building those electronics factories. I may also uh, go ahead and get the Ruhr Valley. No, it looks like that's already gone. Right, that's fine. Uh, as far as Jeonju is concerned, okay... Let's have a look, right? We finished a builder over here. Uh, let's take a quick peek at some of the things that are available to us. Let's lock in these good tiles. We're having a bit of a food problem. Hmm, I'm not sure how to resolve that food problem. Perhaps, do I have, you know, I have all the food buildings I can get. Now, an electronics factory here wouldn't be bad. It would give uh, culture and production to a few of these cities. Uh, so I may, I may purchase here the electronics factory. And so if I check, this is 2.1 culture per turn. And if I go in and purchase the electronics factory, I believe that bonus extends. So for example, this is 3.8. Oh, the culture does not extend. Interesting. I thought the culture would extend, but apparently it doesn't. Well, we have the electronics factory giving us plus four production in a few of our cities now, so that's not so bad. And, uh... I suppose it's not a bad move here to get you a trader for, uh... Well, there's the error score. It's, it's not a bad move to get you a trader so that we can improve your uh, food gain. Because we need to get you to population 10. Population 10 is the nice stable number we want to hit. Uh, and similarly in here, we've got a bit of a food problem. Not a huge food problem, but a mild food problem. Uh, a, a plus six shipyard here isn't terrible. I'll bring us up to 22 production per turn, so I'm going to grab that shipyard. I'm going to hold on to my envoys here. Let's have a look. I think actually going up to get Temple Faith isn't bad here. That should net me a significant increase in about 20 Faith per turn, which isn't terrible. We'll put a mine here as well. Working a lot of... I think I'd rather work an extra tiny bit of food to grow that ever so slightly faster. We're going to harvest here. That'll finish the entertainment complex. That'll give us an amenity. This will eventually be covered in um, <clears throat> seaside resorts. Not long until we get there. Unit needs orders over here. So, I believe it was Gyeongju. Now, does Gyeongju have a trade route? No. And it could use one, so I'm going to transfer a trader over there. And I would like to keep stealing cash, although I want to get a level up here. I'll take Quartermaster for fun. Now, let me check who I have trade routes with again. Uh, in order to make sure that I send them to the right people. I have a trade route with Alexander. I have a trade route with Peter. I have a trade route with Catherine. I don't have a trade route with John Curtin. And I don't have a trade route with Scotland. So. Can you really not reach Adelaide? You can. So we're going to trade with Adelaide here. To get me. Uh, the stuff that I need. We're going to put a forest 
on this tile, and then we're gonna uh, do the right thing with that forest and turn it into a lumber mill. As far as this city is concerned, we're gonna be trading with the capital again. That'll help the city grow. We have a city range attack over here. Looks like a musketman is coming in. Um, let's upgrade a field cannon so that our cities do more damage. That'll increase the damage of our cities by a significant amount. Crossbowmen do 40 damage, field cannons do 60. And so the city will now do 60 damage. Okay, there's astronomy. And you can see now the city does 60 base damage. Excellent. Because the damage, the range damage of your city is based on the strongest range unit that you have. Okay, we have a campus, we have a holy site. I would like a theater square. I don't want to kill these farms if I can help it. Uh, this is a bit of a useless tile. Do I want a theater square? Hmm. Yeah, I think I do. I need more room for great works. Builder has been completed. Let's grab the monument. Let's have a look at what tiles you are working. We'll improve that mine over there and let's put a lumber mill here so now this city has a very productive tile let's keep stealing cash lovely we need to we need to extract the artifact from there Okay, so the Crystal Redden Tour is going to be started next turn. Let's send this guy. Uh, does Pella make much money? 600 gold in Pella. Ooh, we can maybe steal some great works. So let's send this to Paris. And we're going to trade with Kyoto. There we go. And that should put this city into positive food. Yeah, it'll take 11 turns to grow to population 10. We want our cities to hit pop 10. Because that's when a lot of the cards start to do more. I'm going to trade with Kyoto again over here. It'll give this city a little bit more production. We'll go to the next turn. Oh, that's an unfortunate place for the oil to appear, but hey! We'll live with it for now. If you don't read the newspaper, Is mass media. Now we want to get the crystal red on tour. Now we haven't made a decision about where we're going to build it. Uh, you have 37 production. This isn't a bad place to build it. 21, 23... I think 37 is, like, the best I'm going to do. That electronics factory will help out Sendai. Yeah, let's get it started over here. We'll put it on this desert hill. I could have put my theater square here. Hmm, that would have been a good move, but... We'll finish that trader, and we'll get you started on the way over. So, we just finished researching uh, mass media. Let's grab... Uh, let's grab Grand Opera now. That'll let me get a lot more culture, I believe. We'll get another great writer. Okay, so how many great works of writing slots do I have? I have room for two more great works of writing. I have room for three more great works of writing. Okay, excellent. Now, where is that great writer? So let's move the stuff out of Amsterdam. To Sandai. There's Faust. And let's sell that now. Catherine, John Curtin, Peter, and Alexander. <clears throat> Let's talk to Scotland. What was it called? Oh, I, I forgot to check the name of it. I know it was made by Faust. Right? Wait, 
who is this great writer? It is in the Great Library. I'll put it in Nagoya. I guess I can't trade them if they're in there. That's odd. They're Faust. You would give me 45 gold per turn. You don't have enough money. You have some great works you would give me. There we go. I'll take a great work off you and some more of these. You'll give me all of this. You'll give me Bowens of the Magi as well. You'll give me all your relics. Excellent. This is a good trade in my opinion. <laughs> I do, sometimes I feel a little bit bad abusing this um, oversight in the AI, but I, in my opinion, I think you should use everything to your advantage that you can, even, even you know, quote unquote exploits. And then the developer fixes them and then you have to figure out new ways to play. But yeah, we filled up all, we're filling up a lot of great work slots now. Very, very good. Very, very, very good. All right, we finished a trader here. Uh, I need to be trading with Scotland. So I'll put this in Osaka so I can trade with Scotland. Do I want to grab a bank? It would be worth uh, some great people points. It would also be worth some gold. I have a governor title. I can also get a naturalist now. Now, we don't really have any available slots for it. Oh, I should have purchased them down here. But what I will do... ...is I will get this... ...ready. And we'll put a naturalist down here. Let's make sure we own all the correct tiles. Indeed we do. Governor title. Uh, we can assign you now to the capital. And we can assign you... What is my second best city for a generation of culture and science? Amsterdam. So we'll put you in Amsterdam. We're going to assign you to Amsterdam. That'll give me a significant boost to science. I want to get the parks and recreation if I can. Aquaculture and amusement are good. And we will put down a mine here. Another city ranged attack. We'll kill that musketeer. Musketman rather. We're going to harvest here. It'll take us down to 21 turns on the harbor. Alrighty. So actually, let's take a quick peek at how much culture we're actually earning. A decent amount. Mm. A spy failed, but he was undetected. So let's put in now Grand Opera. I'm hoping that will increase our uh, culture per turn. It actually decreased it. Wow. Uh, that's unfortunate. Well, then is the breaks. <clears throat> so we want to get to ideology. We're not going to get to sewers in time, I think, to get the boost for suffrage. I don't think we have the time for that. So we're going to reprioritize towards flight here and radio. I have two envoys. Uh, I don't want to spend them. Nan Madal would be good. Let's see if there's any missions here. Send the trade route. Recruit a great general. Religious conversion. Religious conversion. Send the trade route. Send the trade route. Religious conversion. And train an artillery. Hmm.
Let's keep stealing tech. Now this city I want to trade with Scotland. Sterling seems like a good choice. There we go. We're going to delete this. And you'll create a national park here. Very nice. I could have put a forest in here. That would have been a good move, actually. I should have waited the turn. But we have a natural park now. That uh, generates... This number is broken. It says 196, but it's actually like something smaller than that. I don't know what the number is, but it's it's a relatively small number. We'll chop here. That'll get us a couple turns off the Crystal Red and Tor. We'll put you in there. That'll shave a few turns off that. You're growing just fine. This city here could grow a little bit harder. Even though it's working a lot of food, it's growing quite slowly. Oh, it's mo mostly because of housing problems. Oh, it needs its third district. That's the problem. We'll create another great work. The Sorrows of Young Werther. Let's talk to Russia. Shoot, what was the great work I just created? The Sorrows of Young Werther. You won't give me the great work of this. Or any of these religious ones. You'll give me all your money though. I'm perfectly happy with that. I'll also grab your spices. So we're trading one great work for two great works and a bunch of money. That's a good deal in my opinion. Not the best deal we could get, but it's the best deal we can get right now. And we have filled up all of our things. City ranged attack on you. We'll go to the next turn. Build that there. Do I have any more industrial zones? I can't remember. I think I might have one over here. Let's get the electronics factory. That'll spread some production around. Very nice. So she's quite happy that I'm stealing, uh, doing tech stealing. I might want to... I'm going to keep Grand Opera in because in the long haul that should be worth more to me. Um, what else am I going to do here? Well, let's go ahead and excavate that artifact. I'll take a John Curtin artifact. I could also be selling some of these. I'm not going to. This is themed. Ancient artifact. Two Hojo. Do I have another ancient? I do. And I'll be able to move this John Curtin artifact in the not-too-distant future. Oh, you can plant woods here. Excellent. So let's unlock that tile because it might be a better one. Yeah, there is. Three turns until the Eiffel Tower. That's going to be very handy. And we've got four build charges. We need to start prepping the terrain. I'm going to head you down to Tokyo, actually. Trade with Kyoto because you're having trouble getting fed. Um, I'm actually going to move this trade route. I think I'm going to look for a city that's maybe having trouble growing. Let's see. Well, actually, I could use a bit of production over in Gyeongju. And we'll put a mine here. There we go. Down to 28 turns. We'll hopefully be able to get that down lower. I don't know what we're going to do exactly to get that lower. Might have to work some great merchant projects. I'm tempted to skip this. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip that one. I think I want to I want to make sure I'm fishing for the right governors. Somebody else can have that. They'll get that in two turns. 
Let's grab the bank. The bank is going to be useful. Get another great work here. Robert the Bruce, excellent. It's an industrial era artifact. Um, come down here. We want to put forests around. High production, preferably. So here comes Fukokua. Fukokua. Fuko Fukuoka. That'll give me plus three production, and that should shave another couple turns off of the uh, the Crystal Red and Tor. Alrighty. <clears throat> we have a bunch of gold we could spend. And we will be spending that on infrastructure. Let's go build a mine over there. Eventually we will be replacing these with four. I think I'm going to put a forest there, actually. Um, so that I can build seaside resorts. Okay, we're getting shot at. Alright, choose production here. We got the amphitheater. Uh, how close... Do we have room for great works of art? We do not have room for great works of art. How close are we to earning a great artist? We're very, very close. So we're going to purchase ourselves an art museum. And then just get to work on a bank. Although neighborhoods would be good to get them started. I think I will start my neighborhoods around my empire now. Um, we do not have a lot of good tiles for this. I'll put one on the marsh over here. Put one on this hill. Put one on this mine. Put one here. Put one on this hill. Lock in its price. You need a neighborhood as well. Plus six over there. Gyanju needs a neighborhood. Plus five. And the reason we're building neighborhoods is because they unlock a thing here, the shopping mall that gives plus four tourism. And so we want to start... I should have done this a long time ago, I just kind of forgot. I forgot about it. You know, it's, an, it's a relatively new mechanic that I'll forget about sometimes. There we go. So most of these cities have neighborhoods on the way. There's a plus six neighborhood right there. Okay. Okay, like that. You need a neighborhood as well. Probably not probably not as good to use those nice coastal tiles. This one's fine. It's like one of your few production tiles, but it's okay. Should have probably used that to get a JCC with my harbor, but that's okay. Let's operate at a higher level. Let's get another great work. Boom, there we go. We should now be able to, once we get this artifact, I'll take a John Curtin artifact. And then I should be able to move this over to here. That's another themed museum. Uh, could I theme another museum? Let's have a look. Ancient era, classical, ancient. Got two classicals. We need one more classical era artifact. Shoot there. 
We'll go to the next turn. Go ahead and harvest there. We'll go to the next turn. Things are coming out just fine for me, as far as I can tell. It doesn't seem like there's any major issues. We're about to get the Eiffel Tower, which is one of the mission critical um, wonders that give us a lot of appeal in our empire. There's Gustav Eiffel's wonderful tower. Also, I love these uh, wonder animation movies. They're just fantastic. The little bit of music in the background, the wonderful lighting. This will be a great artist, I believe. We're going to be skipping on these two envoys as well. Ah. I think I'm going to pass on Dmitry Mendeleev. Alfred Nobel is okay. Not ideal. He's okay. Alright, you finished the bank over here. Give me this tile for a neighborhood. Let's prioritize the Shrine Temple Monument and building. Yeah, as much as I hate to kill that. I'm not going to lock the price in for that. We'll build it slowly. Right there. We've got a lot of infrastructure we want to build. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to call that the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, we're, we're on good track. We're making 400 tourism per turn. We, uh, that's like a, let's see. That's 476 with this guy, 383, 476, 476, and 383. So it looks like a few of them have uh, different reasons. I think it's the open borders that are really giving us the edge. But yeah. We're making, we're making a decent amount of tourism. We're going to be making more soon. In particular, when we get the Crystal Red and Tor. Um, but otherwise, we're on, we're on good track. We're making enough faith per turn that we'll be able to get a lot of these um, uh, national parks. Um, we have plenty of places for seaside resorts on the way. But yeah, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!